Hi, I'm Sam. We're at Shaper HQ and I have the Shaper Origin prototype in front of me. Today we're going to look at its feature sets. Initially, we'll start with the helix hole drilling function. So I've mounted a quarter inch bit here. Uh, it's a upcut uh, two flute wood bit um, made of carbide. It's pretty common. And we've tagged a bunch of holes in a uh, SVG file and laid it down ready to cut. So it's going it's been tagged with a helix so it's going to cut down with a roughing pass and then step out and do a finishing pass at the full depth and then retract so i can uh, now jump through and do a range of varying sizes all without changing the bit with one click per per cut so i don't need to move the tool while i do this cut because the hole fits within its corrective range so you can see the smaller circle uh, inside the bigger circle it can get to that entire area without me moving the tool. So there it goes, spiraling down. So the tool's managing the uh, feed rate through the material. So uh, I, I can plunge to full depth um, with one click. So here you see, instead of doing quarter inch passes, we're doing the full half inch. That could be up to one and three quarters with this uh, prototype. We're planning on extending that later. So you can see there's a larger hole, we didn't change bits, and now we step over to an even larger hole. Here it's clear, you'll see the, the, the gap, that's the roughing pass, and now it's stepping out there and doing a finishing pass. So that's at full depth now, and then it'll do a full circle and then retract, leaving us with four uniquely sized holes uh, that could either be laid out in our SVG in advance or live on the tool with the, the CAD features.